guys, it's your boy King Real the Barber, and we're here with Freddy Scissorhands, aka Freddy Clips. And you know, we just want to introduce you to our podcast. I know we're used to doing clips on YouTube, but kind of want to change it up, you know, be more, you know, in For tune now. with you guys, you know? Sometimes we're going to go live, interact with our barber family. So, you know, stay tuned. What else you got to say for the audience? Um, Just stay tuned because we're going to be talking about barber stuff. Um, we're going to really? be talking about shoes. No, duh. Man, barber please stuff. stop. All but, right. um, yeah, it's we're going to try to make things easy for you guys because when we were beginner barbers, you know, we were all over YouTube looking for, you know, what tools to get. And, you know, we didn't really know anything about it. That's I learned everything about barbering through YouTube, like straight yeah, up. Yeah, everything, like, revolves around YouTube now, you know? Yeah. Even, like... A couple of customers like during the pandemic a lot of customers tell me, like told me they're like yo i looked up how to cut my own hair on youtube I'm like bro a lot of to, yeah a lot of and then we all come bad. back they came back we had to fix them Real lot of some we had to give them a baldy because you know i'm just playing but yeah it was not <laughs> nah. so but much, so. yeah so you know so we're gonna be dropping youtube tutorials as usual but we want to get into depth with you guys and then we also just want to ask you guys you know what is your interest or interest about being a barber like why why do you want to be a barber and we'll tell you why we became a barber um you want to start off first like yeah just to... um i uh well when i was a kid you know i didn't know much about shops like this where they did good haircuts you know good fades so i I would go to the freaking local men's cuts in Islip, you know, on Long Island, and it would just be three cosmetologists that oh just, yeah, just cut, you know, boys, and they didn't do skin fades, they just did, you know, two on the sides, three on the top, and a little flip in the front. Oh and uh, as I got older, you know, like a teenager, I would go there and be like, can I get a, you know, skin, skin fade? Or I would, I would be like, can I get a zero on the side? Because they didn't do skin fades. And that was the best I could get. No, they wouldn't bald it out. and. I would get home, they would be done in like 10 minutes. I'd get home, I'd have like hair sticking out, I'd be eggheaded, it was a disaster. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, it was, it was terrible. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, if I'm gonna get messed up, I'm just gonna, you know, mess myself up. <laughs> and clean. learn in the process. So I got yeah, a pair, you know, you know those like $25 wall clippers you get at CVS? Yeah, that's a wall and then it got like the numbers on the clipper. Yeah, kinda. yeah, yeah I got a pair about. of those suckers and uh, Went to work and mess myself up. <laughs> yeah. Did you start cutting anybody else's hair with him? Oh yeah, my friends. Oh, okay. So, but yeah. I was the better one out of all three until I learned that actually it was the worst out of the worst best out of so the three. So you were the worst best? Yeah. Okay. No, nah, I remember I used to put yo, <laughs> no, I practiced on one person and after that he went home, cut his hair bald, and then <laughs> I was like, damn, and then it was making fun of me. Oh yeah, like, like my balls. <laughs> boy, boy. Boy. No, boy. <laughs> my, my, my boys would go to school and like other kids would be like yo you got a bowl cut like what, what happened because oh, like, they like didn't, yo, they, yeah they didn't when you got those those wall clippers those like you know um uh commercial you know wall clippers or whatever they are um they uh they only had a one i think a one guard was the lowest they didn't start yeah. doing half guards you know till later on so uh, it would just be from like zero I would do. I didn't know anything about opening the lever, so it would be uh, the clipper closed and then just do a one. Yeah. So it would be straight, straight, you know, oh, bowl cut. Straight bowl fade. All right. <laughs> well, for, like, for yeah. me, like, I felt like my first time where I actually wanted to be a barber, I was in a barber shop and it was just like me watching everybody and how they worked. I'm like, yo, you know what? They over here counting a whole bunch of cash. I'm like, yo, this doesn't seem like a bad job, you know? And it's basically like you're an entrepreneur, you know? They could work whenever they want, take off whenever they want. And I was so used to like working at McDonald's and just fast food restaurants. I'm just like, yo, that's not for me anymore. I was like, I might as well do something that's more freely, you know? So a lot of barbers started out. Yeah. So it was like, <laughs> now, I kind of seized the opportunity. I used to live in Florida. I watched like Chris Basio and all of them. I used to be in Headlines Barbershop and I moved out here and then started barber school. And then actually, actually in barber school, you learn the basics, but you won't really learn until you get in the shop and work with yeah. other barbers, you know? And you learn different styles, you know? Yeah. And what suits you. Yeah, so I um, didn't actually do barber school. I, 
I attempted it and the first thing that the instructor said when I got in there was, I'm not here to teach you how to fade, I'm here to teach you how to pass the test. So yeah, that threw me off right away. Crazy. And <clears throat> so I, I came uh, back home and just continued cutting my friends and stuff. And then I started looking up videos and came across Chris Bazio, as he said, yeah. and all those like had the guys from Headlines and 245, 360 Jeezy. And I just, I fell in love with it, just just uh, watching those videos. And then soon I started posting pictures on Instagram and one of the barbers here that I had known since high school actually reached out and asked if I wanted to come here as an apprentice. So I hopped on it, came here and uh, I've been here since and, and it definitely was a, a transition coming from a barber that cuts at home to yeah. coming to a shop and uh but it, it was a great starting point no, transition. Cool. no i agree like even with me like honestly like i'm telling you a little story about me i had got in some type of trouble so you no know, kind of got locked up and then while you're locked up they have people come to your dorm and like kind of just give you straight buzz cuts right so we didn't want that. So we would take a comb, just a regular comb and the big razor and legit Prison just, stuff. yeah, <laughs> just legit cut your hair one length. If you wanted to fade it, you'll fade it like that. That's and dope. It used to come out clean. And then after that, I was like, you know what? If I'm doing all right with this, imagine what I could do with some clippers. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's when after that, I was like, all right, bet. Let's check it out. Paint those clippers and I love it, man. I love this job. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's actually technically my master barber. Even though we kind of came up at the same yeah. time. I cut his hair. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I cut his hair even though he's picky as hell. Hey, he, um, he does good, but, man. He's learning. Yeah. He's still learning, but well, um, he came a long way, guys. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's you know, if you want to do the um, apprentice route, that, that's what I recommend. If, if you kind of want more of that hands-on from the get-go where you want to start making money, or then you're not going to make it right away, but it's you're going to be kind of thrown in and, and learn as opposed to being in a school where you're doing a lot of textbook yeah. stuff. But even now, I feel like, <clears throat> um, sorry to interrupt, but I feel like they have a lot of online academies now, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. even that, if you want to go online and just join an academy, you can do that, you know, if you don't want to go into I don't know because it's COVID, so I don't know if certain schools is open or how they doing classes now. So most of the classes could be online yeah. now. So I don't know. Even continued education, if yeah. You have your license ready. I think it's great to do that. Just uh, you can never um, you know, stop learning when it yeah, comes to barbering true. or anything really, but especially barbering because you don't want to be one of those barbers that just uh, thinks they know everything, which. I can be hard headed. Yeah. I think we all can, but, <laughs> yeah. but like, you don't want to. I got this, yeah. man. I got this. I got this. Yeah, oh, but shoot. yeah. No, that's why YouTube's great because there's so much more you can learn there. I learned a lot in the shop. I learned a lot from videos. I learned a lot mm. from experience. Just cutting hair. And I'm done. But yeah, I'd recommend it if you're passionate about it. All right, so cutting hair. What clipper is your favorite? Since you, you know, you actually started yeah. using a whole bunch of clippers. You're a clippers yeah. guy, bro. You buy everything. Yeah, now. Definitely. so. What would you say is your favorite clipper right now? Okay, so right now it's definitely the Gamma Stylecraft Ergos. Um, I've literally had them for a week and they're my favorite clipper, hands down. So, yeah, no, me too, I'm not gonna lie. I'm right here, yeah. guys. But what would you suggest as like a beginner? Um, like if somebody's like coming up, learning how to cut hair, what Oof. clippers would you Honestly, I'd say? recommend the Magic Clips. Magic Clips? Yeah, because they, they're they an entry level, you know what, it's, they're an entry level clipper, but at the same time, they're a five star wall series. So yeah. it's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, it's, you know, and then once you get used to that, you can move up to the wall seniors. Even wall seniors is good to start out with, but the Magic Clips are light, yeah. they're not heavy. Even the system, like the system. The wall system, system yeah. you know, it's, it's easy to learn. Um, I feel like the wall system is taking over the barber game at the moment. Yeah. Because uh, every new clipper that comes out it's has that. Same wall system. Like, I can use the same guard for my wall, for my babblers. Yeah. You know, so you're right. But even, I would say the masters too. It's between those two yeah. for me because I like both. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, I'll switch. I'll go from the masters to get more detail. Or, you know, if I just feel like using the walls so you got these for now though they got a magnetic motor yeah, no bro. these these are my so the new masters. man i love these i'm not gonna lie got two of them so speaking about Mine's these, we, got, box, we gotta okay. we gotta introduce the clippers bro yeah, we can't I'll, be showing right. them off but 
difference. You gotta tell them the difference. Yeah, so. so obviously I found out about these on YouTube because I watch YouTube all the time. And at first I was like, oh, that's dope. I, I think I actually first heard of Gamma with the absolute hitters. And I was like, oh, yeah. that that's cool. But, you know, I didn't really pay attention. And then they came out with these clippers and what caught my um, eye was that they're a magnetic motor and I don't really know any other um, wireless clippers with a mag magnetic motor and the masters the Andy's masters quarter is a rotary right uh, the no no the quarter is a magnetic motor the wireless that? is a okay, rotary got you, got you. um and so that's why if you put them back to back the corded masters and the cordless they're you know they they're different okay. it's a different motor so with these they kind of remind me of the masters the corded ones just cordless with a wall system yeah and that's like the best of both even like the fade and the transition like they're great for these guys is beautiful. You know what I mean, you can tell it's like more of a master's look. Yeah. Versus if you used to use the walls, I feel like that blend is more like the master's look. It so is. That's why I, sure. love, I love these. It's great colors. for like, like shaping and stuff, and it's yeah, cool. Yeah, it, right? Yeah, it's cool too because um, this is the stylecraft version, which is I think kind of just like an upgraded version of what Gamma uh, does. These right here. So, so the these came out first, and then yeah. I believe these came out right after, right? Yeah. Or like a couple months after. Couple, something like that, yeah. Okay, and you, these caught my eye. I'm like, I'm just gonna get these. I'm gonna wait for these. He he grabbed these right away. Um, So these, you know, you have options to change the lid, which is really cool, and you I'm can change like the top bit. and stuff like that. Here's all, some. this is just some of the options right here it's not even all of them um you had actually bought a yeah. um like then, a separate yeah i bought like a separate casing because at first i bought these before i found out about the stylecraft so it came with this case this game boy color looking one that's why the way <laughs> I, I love the game boy color look i'm old school i did that to all my seniors yeah and then um this one right here is more like a wood it was like grain. yeah wood grain so it's dope i like the color kind of matches the wall so has a quick lever too so it takes it up to the babyliss in that way but i feel like it's more uh sturdy like yeah. the babyliss ones you just like this seems kind of like flimsy this actually like, feels like it locks yeah no nah, nah. and plus with the bab i don't know man with babyliss like you always got to return them and get some sent yeah i've back, had that you know problem I mean? so with these i haven't really had any problems with them right. yet so it's There's good you know yeah. yeah i like i like the options you can Apparently you can actually change the, the lever, if you don't right? like the click lever, uh, it comes with a floating lever and you can just either um, change it in the, the one it has in the box or I think you can uh, take out the metal piece that's in here. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just feel like it's real versatile. I'm sure they have taper blades on the website. And then the lever, you can also change the color too, right? Yeah, you can yeah. change the color of the lever. Um, comes with like the three options of these colorways. And same with that. It does it? Does those ones come with the lenses yeah. or no? Yeah, they come with. Let me see. We got this box. Right? I want to get a pair of those just for the gold. Yeah, see, so come with gold, um, silver, and like rose gold. Dope colors, and then you can also change the lever. I think the lever is black, and then you also get gold and um, silver for the levers. So it's real dope, and then see this what the back looks like. Tells you what it comes with. Oh yeah, and it also comes with um, mag magnetic guards, right? Yeah. And those is kind of dope. I'm not gonna that, lie. That's a dope concept. Um, it's like the Andes. A yeah, obviously bit. it's been done. Um, but I haven't actually used those yet. Um, mm -hmm. just because they don't have a one and a half guard with them. So I don't know if that. I'm assuming that it's not needed if they didn't put it in the box. But I just like having the one and a half guard, so I just stuck just with the walls. I will give them a try though. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> have no. you tried those? Uh, like no, I haven't. Yeah. I just gave them away. I use my walls. You know what I mean? Like the, it's just exactly. like the wall system. So I was like, might as well just rock with those. Yeah. So. I heard S Griff Lens said the the zero that comes with though is a lot different than the half. It yeah. takes up more hair. Uh, these already get detailed already. Yeah. Like, no mistakes work. with these. Yeah. <laughs> like. It's crazy because I did an afro and just shaped it and going over one time, it cuts the hair completely. So yeah. you don't gotta keep going over and over like you have to with other clippers. These, just one time and it's clean. You Some know? people like that about the other clippers though. They like that it's not so strong yeah. and, and they like that certain clippers are more forgiving yeah. than others. Like I feel so. like these are similar to like the staggered tooth on the um, 
Like the magic clips. Magic clips, yeah. So more powerful. Uh, yeah, more powerful for yeah. sure. So I like them. Yeah, but um this is just our, our favorite clipper at the moment. It will sure it will change. So you know, months. they come out with something else, so we might just go crazy yeah. and buy them, but you guys, you'll see. Yeah, you know, we'll, take, we'll, we'll show do a you a bunch of reviews. Yeah, and then we'll you'll go see his station and my station, and just be like, oh, yeah, these guys is crazy. Yeah. But nice. all right, enough about that. Honestly, go get them. That's my point on them. If you want to try them out, good Clipper. But we also want to introduce, you know, shout out to Tune Forty Five. But there's no drip right here, man. What do you think about the no drip, bro? I think it's dope. I think it's a dope concept that um, Get Beam did because that's what you know his, his yeah, style is. Yeah, they came out is. with the first one, right? They came out with the the first one. It was a smaller model. Then they came out with the XL. Then they just got rid of the first model and made this the the base model. And I just think it's dope because that's his style and he turned that. You know, it's his passion doing color yeah. enhancement haircuts, and he made a product out of it that you know, yeah. throughout the barber industry, you know. You so, the barber industry. Basically, for a lot of people that don't know what this is, this is a cordless air compressor. Turn it on. Take this off. Got a little we bit got of on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not paint, bro. I'm not going to spray you with paint. But basically, it's a cordless air compressor. Um, the original gun comes without a top, and it comes right here. But I had to order this on Amazon because paint kept falling out. <laughs> But usually these come wired. Oh, usually come with a wire on it, and then you have to pull the wire. But they really like, change the game. Like a, yeah. yeah, it's like like a uh, box on the ground. Yeah, too. but they're really yeah. changing the game. Most everything is coming out cordless. You know, they hopped on the way. Yeah, we just got tired of tripping over wires. You know, but I like it. You know, it's the color enhancement. It comes with like a brown color for like brown textured hair and then you also have and black and onyx. yeah black onyx so a darker tone so i like this gun i need you know i might need to use it a little bit man I'm looking <laughs> crazy but you know i like it though it's a good um good product 100 percent support it and shout out to uh, chris basio because actually my first gun broke and they just sent out another one but I had ordered this on Amazon, but the customer service is 100%. They're legit. As soon as you send an email out, I'll send you one right back. So shout out to them, 245. Appreciate you. And that's about it, bro. Anything else? Just stay tuned because um, there's going to be a lot more content where this came from. There's so much you can talk about with barbering and the culture. Yeah, man. And then we also got some drip, man. We got some sneakers. So stay tuned. You know, we also going to change it up, have some sneakers up. Show you what. You know, we rocking on our feet. You know, he got some J's on. Today I got now. a little bit. I don't know if you can you see know. it. What? But and I got some sunlight. Let me show you some runners, what man. You got? Some, some, you know, some light. Nothing too crazy, but guys gotta tune in man get the style these are um basically recycled honestly so is that why they look like that yeah they're That's made out of recycled concept. shoes everything's recycled so i think it's you know did, did that we gotta well, save right? the planet stop <clears throat> killing the trees man <laughs> stop killing the trees <laughs> but thanks animals, guys bro huh sea turtles oh yeah sea turtles too they're they getting trapped in the uh like like soda can yeah that that's why they got bro. them you gotta cut them, bro. straws, bro. I hate those straws, though. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. They suck. Hey, get rid of those straws. <laughs> but other than that, tune in, Figure guys. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks, guys, for tuning in. It's your boy, King Rio the Barber. And Freddy Scissorhands. Appreciate you guys. Have a good